Hi there. Today we're cooking classic comfort food with a recipe for chicken pot pie that's so easy and delicious you may never pick the frozen version again. This recipe is bursting with colorful veggies and tender chicken. Plus it's much lower in sodium and fat than the packaged variety. So let's get to it. First I'll preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now let's start by cooking the chicken. We're using one pound of chicken tenderloins with the skin and visible fat removed. So the secret to tender chicken is to cook it at a low simmer. Just place the chicken tenderloins in a saucepan with enough water to completely cover the chicken by about half an inch. Now, I'm going to bring this to a boil over high heat. Once it starts boiling, I'll cover it with a lid, reduce the heat to medium low, and just let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So, my chicken is done, and I'm removing it from the pot. Using the tongs I just washed, and I'm going to let it cool slightly on the cutting board. Okay, next, I'm going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. And place it in a resealable plastic bag. I'll pop it in the refrigerator to keep it at a safe temperature while I prepare the remainder of the pot pie. Now, if you want to get a head start on dinner, do this chicken prep the night before and refrigerate overnight. Then the rest of the recipe will come together quickly on the next day. Now I'm going to cook up one potato separate from the rest of the vegetables because the potato takes a little longer to cook. So to cook it, place the bite-sized potato pieces in a medium pot with cold water immediately after you finish cutting them to prevent them from turning brown. If you need to add a little bit more water to make certain they're covered, do so. So the pot goes on the stove. And I'm going to bring this to a boil over high heat until they're just barely tender when pierced with a fork. This takes a little less than 20 minutes. So my potatoes are done. I'm going to drain them and set them aside until I'm ready to assemble the pot pies. Now I'm going to saute more veggies starting with corn. To cut fresh corn off the cob, I want to show you a trick that will make sure you get the sweetest bits of corn, which is actually considered a whole grain. Begin by holding the corn cob with the flat end down on your largest cutting board. You'll want a big board to catch all the falling kernels. Then slice down through the kernels to remove them in long strips. Next, make sure you turn your knife on the side and scrape down the cob to remove all the sweet, milky corn juice. It's the sweetest part and it will help thicken the pot pie sauce. I need one cup of corn, which is about one to two cobs depending on their size. Now, over to the stove. In this large sauce pot, I'm going to heat a teaspoon of olive oil over medium-low heat. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic. Three quarters of a cup of thawed frozen peas.
one onion that's been chopped, three quarters of a cup of chopped carrots, half a cup of chopped celery, and those sweet corn kernels and the corn milk. Of course, if corn on the cob isn't in season, you can use drained and rinsed, no salt added canned corn, or a super easy substitute is frozen corn. In fact, frozen corn is an easy whole grain to add to tons of dishes like chili and casseroles, soups, or even corn muffins. Okay, I wanna cook these vegetables for about five minutes, and I'll stir them frequently. My vegetables have been cooking for about five minutes, so now I'm going to add half a cup of low sodium chicken broth. And half a teaspoon of dried Italian herbs. And I'll cook this about five more minutes until most of the cooking liquid has been absorbed. Now, while those are cooking, I'm gonna to mix together our last few ingredients. If your kids wanna get involved, this is a great step for them because it doesn't involve anything hot. So into a medium mixing bowl, I'm stirring together a quarter a cup of milk and one and a half cups fat-free Greek yogurt. plus the reserved cold chicken. And the cooked potatoes. The milk and yogurt really increase the protein and bone strengthening calcium content in this dish. Plus they make for a creamy sauce without the addition of butter, which is high in saturated fat. Now, to put it all together, make sure you've removed the cooked veggies from the heat. Now, add the cooked veggies and stir into the yogurt mixture. Pour the whole yogurt chicken veggie mixture into a nine by nine baking dish that's been coated with cooking spray. And last step, the biscuit topping. Take a can of pre-made low-fat buttermilk biscuits out of the refrigerator. And remove just five biscuits. Cut these five biscuits into small half inch cubes. Here's another step that the kids may want to help with. Scatter the small biscuit pieces evenly over the top of the warm chicken mixture in the baking dish. Then just pop the baking dish into the oven and bake for about 20 minutes or until the biscuit dough is golden brown. While it's cooking, turn on the oven light so the kids can watch as the biscuit dough puffs up and changes into a golden color. My kitchen smells amazing. And here's the finished chicken pot pie. And when you serve this dish warm, everyone will certainly enjoy this healthy comfort food at its best. Bye for now.